the use of this eternal game all the morning I sat alone yearning to meet thee thou didn't show up all the afternoon I again sat alone waiting earnestly all the world knows my earth is sea but Wake up. Wake up. How can you just be sitting there? <laughs> Give her a minute. She just got tossed from a train. And why don't you go get the train? Why don't you consider this part of the journey? Trains only take you so far. Don't you have a cell phone or, or something useful? <laughs> that cigar guy punched me. I'll sue him for assault. Yeah, my girlfriend stole all my money. Where are the police? I need to call the police. Huh. No signal. Oh, wait. Got a bar. Or maybe two? Okay, this is better. Oh, great. Now he's walking away. Wake up. Why? So I can tell you how stupid you are? Dragging me out of the only transportation for miles? I got sucker punched. Oh, yeah, Bozo, your karma stinks. <laughs> you know, you look a lot like my son. Well, not right now when you're crabby. I mean, right now you look a little purple. Anyway, you look like him. I'm sorry I was mothering you. And now I'm purple with stinking karma. I'm killing my liver, and yeah, I'm toasting my lungs. I'm a bozo. Lady, you're a first-class nag. How does your son put up with you? How does anybody put up with you, huh? Getting me bumped off the train? I bumped you? Yeah, you, you distracted me so that they could pick my pocket. And now I'm broke and nowhere. Who cares if I look like your son? So it's my fault we're sitting here. Yes. <laughs> 
then I say, let's party. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That's your solution? Oh. You've lost your mind. <laughs> well, my luggage is, I don't know, somewhere in Tahiti, and I'm sitting in a log so wet I don't dare stand up. And I have completely run out of dignity. <laughs> and why are you laughing? <laughs> because you're mad enough for the both of us, and I can't possibly top that. And I'm tired of being cross. And I haven't partied in 30 years. <laughs> But for the sake of all things in the world Under you will make each one find his peace The life of friends, land and air and sea Entre la tierra, mar y cielo Hay tantas cosas que faltan por saber Y el universo es como el alma la fe nos da la luz yeah. Con fe y virtud yeah. Fe es la luz, esa es tu alma Vida la paz, vida el amor energy. You know, you, you could at least try to do something helpful. Oh. 
funny. I meant help, like a rescue idea. Okay, got a connection. Oh, wait, no. Ah, give me the phone. <laughs> oh, you missed a good time. <laughs> <laughs> you're uncharacteristically chirpy. Well, I'm with you too. <laughs> so you're lucky. So I'm at rock bottom. <laughs> Nowhere to go but up. Dropped your book again. Oh, the Diary of Joy. I ought to tie it to my wrist with a string. <laughs> Not in a reading mood? I know it by heart. I wrote it for a year, sitting next to my son, hoping he'd get better. Oh. Kids that age, they think they're immortal. They take stupid risks, driving too fast. It was a long time ago. The inner master, symbol of eternal life. Heaven is within, here and now. <laughs> Some days he seemed to get better, but in the end he didn't. And no God came to help me. And maybe no help was meant to come. The best I can hope for now is a universal plan, spiritual insurance. Got it right here? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm multi-talented. <laughs> spiritual insurance comes on printed paper, huh? Well, how much is it? It's free. The pages are blank. A blank policy. <laughs> you need to fill it up yourself. But how? You need to make an inner connection. I can't get connected. <laughs> Look, if I can't get to that train, my life is over. Oh, too bad. Life might be eternal. <laughs> I think life is eternal. <laughs> How far is it to the station? Oh, the next continent over. Oh, the next continent. Oh, fabulous. Just absolutely dandy. So, so where are we exactly? Europe? Oh, for the moment. Wait, we're still traveling? I'm the conductor. I conduct. <laughs> so I'm at your mercy. For how long? Oh, Bozo, I think if you the just go Pete, ahead... The name's Pete, lady! At least do me that courtesy, will ya? You? You're the reason that we're in this nowhere. You're the reason that my life is over! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> The 
del maestro abita l'anima mia mi sento rinascere non chiedete la ragione l'amore non ha senso logica reason is not a logic of When worldly people get married, their passion will somewhat pull down. But when I meet your to you alive, my passion only begins to glow. Reason is not a logic of love. If See a 70 or 80 year old man with dancing eyes and bubbling hues. Then you must know, brother, it's due to the master's magic touch. Initiation. Is it chilly out here? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> he might. I think I'll go check on that train. Here I go mothering you. Oh, whatever. Take it. I can't help myself. Once a parent, always a parent. And let me tell you one thing, Pete. No parent wants their kid to check out first. Oh, it took me years and I poured my whole faith into that diary. And then I couldn't read it. And then I couldn't throw it away. And I arrived at this train station, no place in this world to go, and who do I find? You! The biggest mess I ever saw! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Are you okay? The tracks. There's got to be another train coming through here, right? And maybe not a magical one, but, but something. Okay, I'm gonna need ticket money. Trains don't take me where I need to go. You have money. I need it. You should find your peace. I'm finding mine.
digging, ach sheets a while, kid toy kishle fling the sun go for so far in one night and wonder if I hadn't ended up on that train. Then I'd be a happy man. When did you get so mean? I learned it from you, lady. Well, then unlearn it. Really, it's not becoming. 
And the name is Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call the station? What makes you think you're ready for another trip? Did you call the station? <laughs> yes. And you told them where we are, right? Absolutely, they're on their way. Oh. And I'm just supposed to believe you? Put your ear on the rail. Why? Squat down, put your ear on the rail. You can hear the train from a long way off. I don't hear anything. Squat down there. Press your ear on it. Nothing. Shut your eyes. It lets you listen harder. That's right. Squeeze them hard like lemons. I am. And I feel ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing yet? No. Have faith. Listen for the truth. I, I hear clicking. But don't move. Something's coming. Oh, finally. Might not be what you expect. Oh, anything's better than staying here. Don't open your eyes. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Oh! <laughs> you lied. Lighten up, Pete. You lied. <laughs> oh, get over yourself. <laughs> Yo.
dawn. I want it back. I want wealth. I want girls. I want my life back. I want it back. Then you haven't found it. <laughs> ah, the sound of truth, and it's arriving by rail. What a surprise. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I'll go flag it down. And by the way, you looked ridiculous with your ear on the ground and your tail in the air. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, well, here we are, back where we started. Here we are. What are you doing? I really need your money. Oh, you're a fool. What makes you think I have any? Where's your money? Where's your money? I saw it in here. I know you have some. Is this what you're looking for, huh? It's only paper. Is this what you're looking for? It's no. only paper. No. I wrote that sitting beside my son. Daddy must be so proud. My son is dead. You never said that. How old was he? About your age. He had everything going for him. Like money and girls? Yeah. Like me? When I lost him, I fell into a spiritual coma. And it took this trip to wake me up. He really died when he was my age? Oh, you kids think your bodies are immortal. You pay attention to all the wrong things. And I was a real fool, too.
doesn't look so precious now, does it? <laughs> Dusty old diary. <laughs> it wasn't useless, but in the end, it got me nowhere. Oh, it's probably a fine for littering. <laughs> oh, well, at least it lightens my load. I thought you said this was blank. <sighs> the only belonging that is truly valuable is the faith you carry in your heart. mind these tears. It's just that I've missed you. But up. <laughs> How do you put up with me? My favorite is when you tried to juggle knives. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to oranges. <laughs> My karma stinks, right? <sighs> I'm so sorry. But which part? Everything. <laughs> All of it. 
but especially about you losing your son. I know I said that, but lost, no. I didn't lose him. His soul is always alive. Oh. <laughs> Ta da! As promised! I don't have any money for a ticket. Ah, uh, Pete, it's not necessary. Really? Oh. Well, thank you. And thank you for the trip of a lifetime. I have a feeling your journey's just beginning. Are you coming, little lady? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, exactly where is this train headed? Home. And beyond. <laughs> Find your seats. Tickets, please. <laughs>
Stars sometimes go to sleep at night, but I am forever awake. Now that you've stirred the divine passion in my soul, we both become restless. To the worldly people, I could never share my secrets between the two of us. So I made them shining pillows and studded them all over my dream universe. Loving the silent tears for you more than diamonds of the world. But oh king of all the Fulfilling jewels Do I really have any choice? Loving the silent tears for you More than the diamonds of the world But a king of all the wish Fulfilling jewels Do I really have any 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage vegan television host, actress, and former Miss USA, Susie Castillo, and vegetarian award-winning actor, Corey Feldman. Brilliant music, brilliant dancing. Amazing night. All right, you guys. Well, okay. the party is certainly not over yet because we have a treat for you guys. That's right. And it's going to need participation, which I don't think is going to be a problem. No. They seem quite boisterous. As we've seen today, Supreme Master Ching Hai makes efforts to beautify the world in more ways than one, whether it's through her poetry or her artwork or, of course, her humanitarian efforts. And you know what? I think just from watching the Supreme Master's video greeting earlier today, I mean, you can just tell that she just has so much love in her heart for, yes. for everyone, really. Yes. So let me ask you a question, Susie. Yes. What does Supreme Master Ching Hai Day mean to you? Well, I, to me, I think it's all about, you know, finding your inner peace and your love and sharing that with others. Sharing it with the entire world. Sharing it with the entire world, yes. Yeah, kind of like the musical we just saw, right? That's true. All about peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love for all creatures. Absolutely. With that said, we're going to take a moment now um, to watch a brief video to find out a little bit more about all that peace and love. Love it. Aloha, everybody. Aloha. Supreme Master Ching Hai means so much to so many people in so many countries on this globe. As a world-renowned humanitarian, Supreme Master Ching Hai gives freely of her own independent earnings from her artworks to virtually every corner of the globe wherever there is need. She brings hope around the world where there is despair. この度のあの東北大震災におけまして、スプリンマスター賃配の他に多くのスタッフの皆々様からもご協力いただきました。感謝します。感謝します。まあ、単的に言うと、僕はこの時点ではこれは大変な事だと思います。私たちはこの時点
For every major disaster or place of suffering, she does her best to help and provide comfort to fellow humans and, of course, the animals. And it will help us a great deal. There's so many people that have helped, but this is just enormous. I think that she's one of the most wonderful, kind people because her message is one of compassion. We don't have enough people like the Supreme Master. If we had somebody like her in every country in the world, we'd have eternal peace, eternal love, and we'd all have the good life. As the Supreme Master said, is it relatively We're all trying short? to save the planet, but some people are coming up with particular For the first time in my life, I... themselves entirely to that world. completely changed my perspective. It is in line with your own, which is that we... Their efforts should be recognized and celebrated. Agradecer la Suprema Maestra su liderazgo, agradecerle su optimismo, agradecerle ese don de gente que tiene que la hace tan única y tan especial. Now therefore I, Frank F. Fossey, mayor of the city and county of Honolulu, to hereby proclaim October 25, 1993 as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day. is really all that we need to have on this planet in order to have peace, to bring heaven onto our earth. Please express more love to closed ones, to your pets, your neighbors, your families, to the world at large. We can never have too much love in this physical domain. Now I have a much better idea of what Supreme Master Ching Hai Day is all about. You Don't get you, it now. You guys get it right? Yeah, I think we cleared it up. <laughs> we cleared it up. Before we go into the charity presentation and then the fun treat of the program, we're going to welcome a representative from the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association. Yay! Thank you. On behalf of Supreme Master Ching Hai, I'd like to thank California State Senator Curran Price, who earlier this evening had shared his kind words of commendation honoring Supreme Master Ching Hai's humanitarian work worldwide. For her selfless service of the multitude, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been recognized in many countries, such as by the governments of Armenia, Cambodia, Formosa or Taiwan, the Philippines, and Thailand. And while each honor is very special and meaningful, it happens that the United States has given her the most honors and of the highest level. She has been recognized with commendations, honorary citizenships, and keys to cities from U.S. presidents, the governors of seven states, and the mayors of Honolulu, San Francisco, and Boca Raton, among many other forms of recognition. Supreme Master Ching Hai once mentioned that she's very moved, having been honored so much. She has told us before that the United States government recognizes and honors people so truthfully and unconditionally. She has mentioned how good the U.S. government is because it respects and applauds any talented or good person wholeheartedly. This is one of the reasons why Supreme Master Ching Hai truly loves America and is always thinking of how she could be of any further help to the United States and her beautiful people. So on this joyous occasion, on behalf of Supreme Master Ching Hai, we would like to thank State Senator Curran Price once again, as well as the great state of California and the United States. Supreme Master Ching Hai also conveys her thoughts as follows, and we quote, I am touched because a great and mighty country as this 
notices. Oh. <laughs> notices a humble nobody such as myself. And finally, Supreme Master Ching Hai sends her warmest wishes to everyone here today. Thank you, and may God bless America. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage two-time Emmy award-winning actor and vegetarian Christophe St. John and vegetarian actress and television host Ellie Packard. So nice to see you again. Tonight is about gifts, gifts of music and compassion, enlightenment and understanding, charity and peace. Ladies and gentlemen, in celebration of Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, three extraordinary charitable organizations will be recognized. They are Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, represented by Executive Director Tom Viola. <laughs> Animal Defenders International, represented by President and Co-Founder Jan Creamer and Vice President Tim Phillips. and Worldwide Veterinary Service, represented by their U.S. Ambassador, Daniela D'Angelo. We are also glad to have with us three esteemed government officials who will be presenting checks with the chairman. We welcome the Honorable Assembly Member, Kacho Ashajian. The Honorable Jose Solorio, State Assembly Member of California. And the Honorable Consul General of Lebanon, Johnny Ibrahim. Thank you all so much for being here today. And now, Chairman Dr. Nicholas Chen and a representative from the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association joins us to deliver a message. It's wonderful to be here today. We would like to read a message from Supreme Master Ching Hai. She apologizes for not being here because she's on an intensive retreat. She sends, and we quote, a hero salute and heartfelt gratitude to these organizations and others whose love and courage help make this world a more loving place. I also thank all the artists for your contribution and feel privileged to present this gift on your behalf and to honor these organizations with a token of gratitude with this financial contribution and wish them the best in furthering their noble work." End quote. Thank you for sharing that beautiful message from Supreme Master Ching Hai. I'm sure the artists and all of us very much wish that Supreme Master Ching Hai could be here with us today. We reserved a seat for her, hoping that she would be able to attend. But it's so precious of her already to think of us even while she is on her meditation retreat. It is now our pleasure to have the Honorable Assembly Member Kacho Ashajian to present the first check. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Kacho Shajian, and I'm so touched to be a part of this wonderful event with such a beautiful message for humanity. Likewise, I'm humbled to present this $100,000 contribution from the Supreme Master. Yes, let's hear it. Yes. That's a lot of money. From Supreme Master Ching Hai to Broadway Cares Equity Flights AIDS. This foundation, let's hear it for the foundation. This foundation that honors this very hope in humanity and with me to receive the check is Tom Viola. Thank you. I want to, uh, I'd like to thank uh, the Supreme Master Ching Hai for this extraordinary, gracious and generous gift. I also honor her for her spiritual principles so beautifully on the stage, but also in our communities. In her poem, Singing Praise, she writes, the master is more than just kind. With this very generous gift, she puts those words into action. Thank you so much.
Next would be Honorable State Assembly Member Jose Solorio. Please step forward to present the second check. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I am State Assemblyman Jose Solorio, representing Orange County, and I know we have many people from Orange County here. I'm, yes, we do. The OC in the house. I'm very happy to be part of this spectacular musical event with such a beautiful, uplifting message for humanity. As a vegetarian, I'm especially honored to present this $100,000 contribution from Supreme Master Chin Hai to Animal Defenders International, an organization that promotes peace and a more humane world. Congratulations. It's a great honor for us to be here today and our sincere and heartfelt gratitude to Supreme Master Ching Hai. We dedicate ourselves to uh, the cause of animal protection and uh, we have in uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai a great leader and a teacher um, about the way that the humans should relate to animals and that is certainly something that is a dedication of Animal Defenders International. We are so grateful and we can promise that uh, many animals will be saved with this very kind and generous donation. I would just like to ask Nicholas to step up on behalf of Supreme Master Ching Hai and accept this plaque from Animal Defenders International which features a number of the animals that we've rescued, like Kimba the lion and Toto the chimpanzee, Tim the horse, and Tillin the baboon. This money will go so far to helping these animals, helping us rescue more animals, and most important of all, raising awareness about the treatment of animals around the world. Thank you. And finally, could the Honorable Johnny Ibrahim, Council General of Lebanon, please step forward to present the third check. Hi, everyone. What a night. My name is Johnny Ibrahim. I'm the Council General of the Republic of Lebanon. And I'm honored to take part in this event, in this peace-loving event, as I'm humbled to present on behalf of Supreme Master Ching He a generous contribution to a foundation that protects animal life, the Worldwide Veterinary Services. On behalf of Dr. Luke Gamble and the Worldwide Veterinary Service, I just want to say Thank you. This is an incredible donation, which will go a long way to helping the work that we do. We service over 450 animal organizations around the planet, veterinary aid, veterinary service to many countries that don't have any. So um, this is an incredible donation and we're over the moon. Thank you, Supreme Master. Thank you. Tonight. Let him hear it. Okay, I did study math, so I do know that tonight these wonderful organizations have received three hundred thousand dollars. Awesome. Thank you, Supreme Master Ching Hai and all of the artists. That's right. What a beautiful moment of giving and sharing. Thank you, participating dignitaries, charity members, and the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association representatives. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage Susie Castillo and Corey Feldman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to have some fun? Um, I don't think that was loud enough. How about, all right! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! All right, that's better. All right, each of you are getting a starlight, just like the ones that we're holding. That's right. 
And if you're on the balcony, please reach behind your seat cushion to find your starlight. If you're sitting down in the orchestra level, our ushers will be passing the starlights out to you guys, but it seems like it's already been done. Oh my goodness, that so, looks beautiful. Look at that. Whoa! Woo! Now, we want to take this time to thank all of our friends in the media, both in the United States and around the world, who have helped make this celebration successful. You know, we should really thank each and one of them personally. That's what I think we should do. Right? Yes, we should. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Uh, but we are all just going to read them. How's that sound? There's almost 300 of them. What? Uh, <laughs> well, maybe we should make more of a contest out of this. Here we go. I'm going to give each of you guys a contest. A contest. Page. Yep, thank that's you, right. Here you go, Kelly. Okay. Christoph. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Now check this out. We are going to, uh, we're going to have a contest. We're going to see who can read the most names the fastest, because we got a lot of things. Right. It's a contest. Who's going to win all those blue lights? Background music, please. BBS TV. Latino LA. Local.com. The American Shake Thanksgiving. The Italian Cultural Institute. The Korean Daily. The Korean Times. The Korean Times Los Angeles. 24 JSpace.com. KBS World. Com, 365 Diana, Travel the Irish on WTV. Korea, K-Pop Daily, LA Opinion. Yahoo Philippines News, Yibata News, Yogi Times, Best Deals TV Show, Beverly Hills Courier, Broadway Stars, Bravo Nueva, Latin Trends, Little Saigon TV, Mega E Radio, Nikki Zoo, Brazil Today, Brazilian Digital Channel, Brazilian Hour Radio, Caribbean Journal, 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 Caribbean Journal,
and such a joy to celebrate the 19th anniversary of Supreme Master Cheng Hai Day with everyone. Good night, be vegan, make peace. It was magical. More than what I was expecting. Profoundly beautiful. Really nice. Really incredible. Dazzling. It's so astounding. And inspired and encouraged at the same time. It was so much fun. There were a lot of heartfelt songs so, that were shared. So uplifting. And a cosmic and I, musical message. It's an incredible feat. Supremely amazing. Life changing. Like a one love, one global and love. the love is just magnanimous. Altruistic work that she's doing around the world. Was it a show filled with love? And a story inclusive, loving. This was a wonderful this expression of her poetry. It was really beautiful. It was lovely and the dancing. I'm impressed. So totally impressed. Flowing. I mean, it's just like a river. It's just wonderfully celebratory. It's just so exciting. Oh, I'm just, it was just a wonderful evening. I thought it was theater at its best. Everyone's coming together, having fun. You know, how are we going to do this? Share the message. Life begins with peace, love, and light. And I feel like I was able to reconnect with that idea by coming to the show tonight. Yeah, I really cried in the last song. It was so moving to see that ensemble cast up there singing. And you could just see the joy and the love coming from them. I liked it. It was very colorful. And oh, it was very cool. So much is done with projections nowadays in opera. And I have to stay in my mind. I know how expensive they have been to install on the opera stages. So I was thinking how remarkable it was that they were available at the shrine. They're fabulous. I just love the theater, the stage design, the set, the colors, the music, and everything. And I could, this is the most fun I've had in a long time. Made my night. Made my year. Love the poetry, absolutely. I tell you, I didn't expect all of this. It was really stunning. I started out in Palm Springs, California this morning. It took me a little over two hours by train and car then in the last part of the trip. It took an hour and a half today. <laughs> my name is Jacqueline, and I live about three hours north of San Francisco. 12 hour drive or something like that? It's about 12 hours. And you come today from where? Uh, Philadelphia area. We were actually very honored to be here. I'm from the UK. I also broadcast and present for the BBC in, in London. I'm actually still mesmerized. The show was just brilliant. I got goosebumps halfway through. I'm Sunny Hilden and I am a singer-songwriter and I write positive songs. I've written for Ray Charles, Sting, David Archuleta, Disney and, and that's why when I saw the ads for this all over the city, which is fantastic, I just kept seeing this this and I looked into it and, I, and it just looked so beautifully positive. I thought I have to buy a ticket and go. And it was just so wonderful. And all the love that poured out, it got me teary-eyed. I was just at a restaurant with my brother and they had this little flyer here, you know. And I just thought, oh, what's this, a musical? And loving the silent tears. So it just intrigued me and it brought my mother. She's uh, particularly in need of this kind of uh, uh, rejuvenation for her. I wanted it to be a kind of a, a spiritual and um, uplifting, inspirational thing for her. And it turned out to be even more for myself. <laughs> Magnificent. It, it was, was an great. extravaganza of artistic I talent, mean, it was music. Wonderful. I was just really impressed with the whole variety of the dancing. It was spectacular. Just exquisite. Whoever did the set and those stage hands need to have an award. The Russian dancing, the African dancing. The, I mean, it was I just. I really uh, enjoyed the show, and I uh, so discovered so much about it. I did really never expected to be so uh, amazing. I mean, in every sense, the costumes, the choreography. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Beautiful Thank you. program. I'm excited to get some food in the stomach. I didn't eat anything today because I knew it was going to be so good. I wanted to save all the room for it. It was delicious. I feel like telling everyone to become a vegan. Beautiful buffet out there. And we even had an extra plate we brought home. My mom loved the salad. I so enjoyed the food art. I am such a huge fan of that. I had a wonderful show. Everyone in the audience was tremendous and there was an incredible energy and I'm going to have some fruit. It's so good. I'm so excited to eat. This smells amazing. The auditorium, the dancers, the lighting, the musical. I was in awe the whole entire time. It was wonderful. The speakers, everybody. Yes, but I'm sad because 
They're just doing it one day. You know, they should do it more. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Just so you know, my mom was watching in Brazil, so the whole live stream is wonderful. The story itself was tender and touching. The music, the costumes, it was just an amazing show tonight. This tribute is truly a testament to Supreme Master Ching Hai's vision for a more healthy, joyful, and peaceful and more loving world. The melting of cultures that were brought together. This is the first time I've seen something like this put together. I actually almost cried. But I was like, I have my makeup, don't do it, don't do it. And for me to see all these cultures, the costumes, I mean, amazing. The costumes were spectacular and really took the story around the globe. Because it was so international. definitely support tolerance of all races and cultures, yes. so this is a great <laughs> way of showing it to everybody. It really demonstrates how it's possible to achieve uh, peace through music. And that's something that uh, today I think we need more than ever. And it just made me feel at home and just seemed like it brought the world together in a couple of hours. I think my favorite dancing was the Irish step dancing. The reggae, the Jamaican music. The Korean singers. I would say the Brazil was probably my favorite. The New York one, that was pretty awesome the Australian song, the mystical background of the Aboriginals. I personally like the, the French song, but of course I still have to say my favorite was my dad. I'm an opera person, so of course I love the Italian opera singer, but also the Vietnamese were so lovely. The Vietnamese were beautiful. The singer that was all in white with, with a hat, oh, fabulous. Oh, and China, oh my God. The Buddha cries. The Russian piece. It's really, really good. Kirill did an excellent job. We just loved it. It was great. Cuba. A lot of spice in that one. John Sagada, my aunt, the way we feel about Johnny Depp is the way she feels about John Sagada. The fact that he was a part of this creation was really inspirational. I particularly loved Jody Watley's African rendition. The African woman at the end. I mean, she was just stunning. The aerial thing was really great at the beginning. The conductor was especially humorous, and the young boy did a great job as well. It was a very well-told story. It really weaved through. Patty Cohen, Howard, she held the stage with a hundred other people around her. That's amazing. I'm still thinking about, like, take my hat. It's in my head. I know I'm going to be singing that tomorrow. <laughs> but I also really love the um, Middle East. That was just oh. You had the Sufis twirling, whirling, and then you had, you know, the belly dancers, and then you had the Hasidic Jews. You had everybody there all together in one. It was just what the Supreme Master stands for, which is bringing everyone together in peace and harmony. The poem of the Supreme Master is so deep. Everyone should get a chance to really experience and feel the soul of what she's trying to, you know, explain. And she uses beautiful words to remind the people, remind the souls, not just the mind, but the heart, that we are all one, we are all born to be kind, and, and I'm so grateful, so grateful, so grateful. The thing amazing about her poems, you, you cannot just read through it once and say, oh, well, that's nice, or that's this. You have to really read them different times when you're in a different mood because you get a different feeling about it each time. So I have to read through the poems again, and I'm looking forward to understand the message she wants to give to us. I was following the, uh, the poems in here and as they were singing them, so uh, it was very nice. thrilled with it. I was thrilled at the outpouring of love that came from the audience as well as the cast. And I was thrilled that uh, the Supreme Master and how gracious she was as well. This is a very ambitious message and everyone's embracing it. My involvement in the show made me ask questions to myself and I go home with a little bit more confidence in being open about my spirituality. performing from their heart and soul in this show, and I think the audience can really feel that. I'm taking away the fact that today is Make a Difference Day nationally, and I have brought this to the city of Carson, 
and I have it included all of the, the elementary schools into this. It was just high energy, and I knew that the audience was feeling it as well, and we were actually feeding off of their energy. Her message was so simple, and that is we can never have enough love in the world, and that was the purpose for tonight, and I think it spread over that when people finally came into the banquet hall, people were just who didn't know each other before were all smiling at each other, and we're, we were overjoyed to see each other. Well, I probably hugged like 10 people that I didn't know once I walked out. The unity in the room is so great. The love from everyone, like there's a lot of joy. I think it changed a lot of lives tonight. All of it has kind of just been a life-changing experience and you know, the feeling of the area, the energy in here is just so amazing. So just see the camaraderie of everyone come together. Um, the message of uh, Supreme Master Ching Hai has extended just after watching her mu musical. Even in line for the banquet, um, I could tell that it touched other people because even just sharing the tongs in line, everyone was peaceful and like handing, like really feeling like a sense of peace and like just wanting to share with each other. Someone handed me the tongs and was like, they're like, here, peace, we're happy, like everything's happy. I was thinking, oh my goodness, she's so self-sacrificing. I and I wish she would, I wish she would um, come and dine with us sometime. So come on, Supreme Master, uh, we would love to have you here. I loved everything about her. My heart goes out to her. Of course, everybody wished that she was here because I would love to see her. I just feel that although she is not here with me, here with all of us, but we sh we feel that. Her spirit and her love is with all of the audience and the productions and all of her feels, her love and her support. Even though she wasn't here physically, she was still here. I was really privileged to have the seat right behind the picture of the Supreme Master. I was right behind there, so I, I felt blessed that I was that close. If everybody was like her, the world would be awesome. When I started studying about her and saw the musical and what she was about, I was just blown away. Her message really moved me and inspired me to take that step forward in my life. I've been leaning toward the vegetarian side, but I've seen a couple of things throughout the show that I want to try to be a vegan. <laughs> That's really great news. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> After being here today, I'm strictly vegetarian. When I'm here, I'm totally vegan. Ah, beautiful. How long has that been this time? It's been a month and a half so far. Okay. And I'm, uh, there's no reason to go time. back. Could you become a vegan when you get seafood like this? I actually think I just became one. I've converted <laughs> tonight. Absolutely. The food is amazing. Very good. A bit crowded. <laughs> It took me a while to find a seat. <laughs> it was so popular. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, look. Being introduced to it here has made me second guess, like maybe I can really switch my lifestyle and become vegan. Just being vegan for a week was really eye-opening for me. And the food was delicious here, so I don't know. Whatever was in that, they needed to show that to the world because then everybody would become vegetarian and vegan. I thought it was from the heart. You know, no one can speak that unless they really feel it deeply with that expression that she gave. That was actually for me probably the most beneficial. I wish I knew it before the show even because it just, it allowed you to absorb so much more her journey that let her blossom. Master Ching Hai, thank you for showing me, Jenna Poiloren, Miss California, what a beautiful queen really is, and it's because you share the light and joy and love for the entire world. The beautiful woman, she is a queen, not just a master, but a queen. She is providing not only the kind of spiritual, intellectual leadership, but she really cares and has demonstrated that through her humanitarian efforts around the world. It's an honor to know of her, and I'm, I'm glad that uh, we're here celebrating her today. This was the first time I've heard of her and to see what she has done worldwide and apparently from the, uh, the goodness of her own heart. It was really impressive. Master Ching Hai's taking her philosophy on love and kindness and sharing and made it into her actions. All the social service that she's doing, all the love that the world needs, 
and we are constantly living through crisis. So this is like a breath of fresh air. It's so valuable. It's such a contribution of love. Her generosity is just, it isn't seen in the world like it is from her. She's just magnanimous in her giving. I feel quite honored and humbled to be here, to be a part of this momentous occasion, to be celebrating the 19th anniversary of Shanghai Day. It's beautiful. I mean, obviously, to be part of something which sent the message of bringing peace and harmony to all living creatures, all living beings on this planet is the most important thing we can do. Because at the end of the day, when we wash away all the materialism, it's not those things that we hang on to in the material world that matter. It can all be swept away, and we're all going to be the same whether we have those things or not. But what matters is what you have right here and right here. So as long as you keep it in your heart and your soul, you'll be okay. Thank you, guys. Amen to that. positive experience and I know it sounds like I'm just trying to be positive no it really was an overall positive experience the directors with Vincent Pattison and Lula Washington Dance Theater she just has an amazing spirit within her company and to bring it to a production of a director that has an amazing spirit Vincent was very humble that was a great opportunity to work with him what I love the most is Doug the director of the musicians his spirit is just amazing I loved how humble all of the artists were Bonnie and Vincent have been amazing. They are so positive and so incredible. I think it's hard not to take that with you. Bonnie Story, who is, look, this is one woman who did Irish step dancing, a beautiful French waltz, ethnic dances for Israel, belly dancers, and, and, and how, how much does she know about dancing? The dancers are some of the best ever, anywhere. Of course, Vincent Patterson, the director, was amazing. It's just a loving family, and I've never worked with people like that, where it's like a production where everybody is there to take care of each other, love each other, support each other, and I feel like I'm going to go back to Korea with this great feeling of support with this bond. I mean, Looking into the face of the other actors on stage when I come out to sing, they give me the motivation to communicate the words from Supreme Master Ching Hai. So much generosity of spirit. The message to give from a giving heart a giving soul, a giving purpose. I've realized that what I'm doing is not for myself. I'm doing this for others. I'm doing this for my culture. I'm doing this for the Supreme Master. This is really meaningful and you, you, you feel like you're being part of a message. Being in a foreign country, I'm um, in a spiritually a different place to where I would be at home. So I'm kind of finding myself. So it was, it was perfect. Definitely a highlight of my uh, of my trip to LA. It's my first trip in, so it was just wonderful. It's been an honor to uh, be with this cast and be in this musical. Certainly the most prestigious cast and crew that I've ever worked with. And the dancers and the artists, everybody, the actors. You know, we really became family. And Whether it's a cameraman or you know John Cicada. And uh, hopefully uh, I get a chance to do it again someday. I don't think that I could have dreamed for something that spectacular. Something about that collective energy, that force, that's bringing us all together. Today I was feeling particularly low, particularly like freaking out about different things. And I, and I, I got, without being in a literal sense, I got a very deep, uplifting spiritual feeling. I mean, I can't even put words, it's like beyond words. I just give thanks to the Supreme Master, our Silence Tear production, because it was so wonderful. And what she does is amazing, and I'm, I feel actually honored to have been part of this and to meet her, because now I feel like I'm taking something with me, that I will be better for having been here. One word about the show, if you had to pick a one word. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. But it's oh, nerve wracking. It was wonderful. It was overwhelming. Fulfilled. Fantastic. Hot. Exciting. 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 Excited. <laughs> Excited. 
blessing. I know it's not an adjective and it's a noun, but that is what this experience was. Truly a blessing. If, if there is one, one thing I can say, I would say thank you. It's such a magical trip to me. It's my first time singing in LA and it's just wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was all over. It was the most, it was the most incredible experience. Thank you. Amazing. Yes. Amazing experience. Thank you.
Hello, Buddha. Why do you cry in your stone heart? How much desire? Why do your tears stream down the sea? Why give your love to the pebble? Did you leave Nirvana? What is here to search for endless pain or sorrow? Search for endless pain or sorrow. Oh Buddha, oh Buddha, hurry now, leave samsara, back to where no sorrow. Your love shine forever. 